Hey everyone, welcome back to React course. In this lecture, we will understand how to use state in the component. In the previous lecture, we had learned how to create a fruit list using the properties. Now in this lecture, we will create a current time and display them in the browser. So we will create this example in two ways. First using the properties and second using the state. So we will first create this example using properties. So I will just create a component in the component directory. So I will just right click here and say new file and just name this file as timer.jsx right. So this is my new component and in this component I will first import my react and the component class. So I will just say imrc and press enter. So this will import the react component. Just after that I will create a class here so I will just say cc and just select the simple snippet and just create a class you will get two cursors now here you just need to create your component so i will just name my component so here we just created a timer component and extend it to react component class now here you will see your state property we will take this property after a few minutes but just for now i will just create a ui for my application so in the return statement i will just create a division tag so I will just say div and specify a class name and the class name is gonna be app and just after that in this division tag I will just create h1 heading tag with the text current time right just after that here I just wanted to create a property so I will just say here curly braces and in this curly braces, I will just create a property date. So I will just say this dot properties dot date, right? So this statement will create a date property here. So before you execute this property, you need to specify this property in the react dom dot render method when we call the component, right? So I will just go to index.js file and just here, I will just rename this fruit list component to timer and just wanted to import this component so i will just say import timer from and just specify dot forward slash i just wanted to import this component from component directory and just select my component here right now i just wanted to initialize this property here so i will just say date is equal to and in the curly braces now here i just wanted to create an instance of the date object this instance will return the date object to this date property right so i will just create an instance so i will just say new date right so the date class will return the date to this date property i will just save this document and just after that in timer.jsx so here we have date in the date object now i just want to get the time from this date object to get the time i will just say dot here and call a method which is to local time string so i will just say to local time string and specify parenthesis right so this method will get the current time right and i will just wrap this statement in h2 heading tag so i will just create an h2 heading tag here and just wrap this here and I will just say it is and this is my time right save this document and just execute it so I will just start my development server so I will just so here I will just say CLS to clear my screen and just first enter into my application so I will just say CD my app name of my application and enter and just after that I will say npm start and press enter so this command will start the development server so this will start your server on localhost 3000 oops forgot to specify e here right i will just save this document and right here you will get your current time after every one second i just wanted to update this time right now to do that i will just go to my timer.jsx file here this is my component i will just close this window 
now here i will just create a method so i will just say oops so i will just say call me right in this method i will just call set interval method so this method will call this date object on every one second so i will just say here set interval and in the parenthesis i will just create a function so i will just specify parenthesis here call my arrow and just specify body of that function right now i just wanted to execute this function after every one second to do that i will just specify comma here to specify second argument so this is my timer argument and here i will say 1000 millisecond so the 1000 millisecond is equal to one second right now here i just wanted to change the value of the date property and update the date after every one second so here i will just say this dot property dot date and i will just specify a value so i will just say new date here right so this function will execute every one second and specify a new date to the date property right and then the date property will get the time and display on the document I will just save my changes right and just after that I will just call this method so what I will do is I will just call here curly braces and say call me right so this will call this method right and this method will execute after every one second so I will just save this document oops you will get an error the error says you cannot access to read only property date so this error will show you you cannot change the property of an object as you know in the previous lecture we learned the properties are immutable you can't change the properties in that situation you have a state object now let's convert the same example using the state object right so in this timer component i will just initialize my state property now i just wanted to create a state property to do that i will just click here in the object and i just want to specify key and value pair here the state of the component will get the object and takes the value using key and value pair so i will just say here date colon and specify an instance here so i will just say new date right i will just delete that to initialize the state you need to use state property just after that here we just need to change this property to state so we just get rid of the statement now here i just wanted to update this property right so what i will do is i will just say here this dot set state so set state is a method so this set state method will update your state property asynchronously using this method you can asynchronously update your state without updating your complete DOM. So this method will just update the value which is modified previously. The set state method will figure out the previous value and just change the value to the current value, right? So using this method, you can update your set state object. So in this parameter, I will just going to specify an object here. So this is my state object and I will just specify this property right so what i will do is i will just say here date colon new date right so i will just save these changes i just wanted to replace this property to state so i will just remove this property and say state here right save these changes and in index.js file i will just remove this date property save these changes and here you will get your timer so i'll just right click here and say inspect and just go to my body section and in this body you will get your root element this is division tag your app element and this is the h1 heading tag so here you will see only the h2 heading element is updating not the complete dom the benefit of using virtual dom is this so here you will see the only h2 element is updating not the whole dom 
So using set state method, you can update your component state, right? That's it. Now you understand how to use state property in your application. In the next lecture, we will move further and understand the more concept regarding to the state property. I hope you understand this lecture. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment. Answering the question specified in the comment will definitely help you to improve your knowledge. That is all for now. We will see you in the next lecture.